Hello, everyone. My name is Mark McIntyre. I'm the Director of Community Engagement at the Victoria Police Department. And it's my pleasure to present the 2021 Vic PD Community Survey results. We've held similar surveys in 2014, 2017, and 2020. We'll be doing so annually from now on. These surveys are well received and appreciated by our community. And the design itself is based on Statistics Canada guidelines on survey design. We also held a national environmental scan of existing police surveys. And we based the design on past VICPD community surveys, allowing for trend analysis over time. In terms of methodology, we mailed surveys to a random sample of addresses to confirm residency and business location in Esquimalt and Victoria. Uh, we've also broken out results for VICPD's entire jurisdiction, that's combined Esquimalt and Victoria, also offering municipality specific results for Esquimalt and Victoria. And we offered respondents one option for completion. They received the uh, mail out invitation, but then had uh, were, were asked to complete the survey online with a unique code. So we spent the first two months of 2021 uh, preparing the survey project. Uh, March 3rd to April 6th was our distribution window. We analyzed results in April and now we're into May sharing the results both internally and externally. We distributed over 4,600 surveys in Victoria and Esquimalt. Uh, more than 1,100 were completed for a response rate of 25% and a margin of error of 2.86% at the 95% confidence level. Just meaning that if we administer this survey 100 times, in 95 of those instances, the results will reflect the actual population result to within 2.86%. How does that margin of error compare to similar surveys offered by police surveys over the last five years? Pretty favorably at the 2.86% margin of error rate. And in terms of uh, engagement, we just wanted to uh, determine uh, the level of engagement. So of our of our population, for every 1,000 of our of our population, 11 people were, were determined to have taken the survey, which we're very pleased with. And uh, that's that's having completed the survey. About 40 of our uh, of each 1,000 of our residents. Uh, and businesses would have received the survey. So very pleased with that level of engagement. So this presentation will go over 2021 results, comparing them to last year, 2020. They're combined results for residents and businesses in Esquimalt and Victoria. We'll be posting all of the results, including municipality specific results, as well as the raw numbers on our open VicPD portal at our vicpd.ca website. And for survey questions, in which we saw a significant change of response, uh, I'll be showing you an eight-year trend just to give you a, a longer-term sense of trend. So the first series of questions is asking people how they feel about safety, how they feel about uh, crime in their, in their neighborhood. So we asked if people felt they had been a victim of crime. The numbers here are unchanged from last year with 71% of people indicating they, had, they do not feel they've been a victim of crime over the last five years with 29% indicating that they feel they have been. We also asked respondents if crime has changed in their opinion. Uh, here we see uh, a drop in those that feel that crime has remained the same. It's, it's dropped to 39%. Uh, there's an increase in those that feel that crime has increased and a decrease in those that feel crime has decreased. So let's put that into a longer term context here, going back to 2014. We see that in blue here, those that feel a crime has remained the same has gone from 56% to 39% over those eight years. Those that feel that crime has increased has gone from 18% to 55%. And those respondents that feel that crime has decreased has gone from 22% to 6% in 2021. We also asked respondents if they feel safe. This is for their neighborhood. Uh, and we have 93% of people uh, indicating that they feel safe during the day in yellow here in their neighborhood. And in blue, that indicates at night, 62% of people feeling safe in their neighborhood at night. We also asked the same question for downtown Victoria or the Esquimalt Plaza area, depending on which municipality you call home. And we have 79% of people indicating they feel safe downtown uh, during the day with 36% feeling they say, feel safe uh, downtown at night. Both of those numbers seeing a, a drop from 
We also asked uh, if VicPD could pay closer attention to one problem, what, what would it be? So we offered uh, 19 options based on survey input from previous years. And we asked respondents to check one, just check one uh, area that VicPD should pay closer attention to. Uh, the top three categories are homelessness, drug activity, and mental health. And it's worth pointing out that those are not exclusively police issues. In fact, you could argue they're, you know, many of them are not police issues, but these are areas that respondents feel VicP should pay closer attention to. Now we're going into the service delivery aspect of the survey where we asked people um, how we're doing as a police department. So we, we asked a series of questions about our, our officers and, and our service. So, um, you know, is Vic PD approachable? This is, uh, there's a drop of 7% uh, here, down 76% of those that agree with that statement. Um, an increase from 4 to 8% of those that disagree that Vic PD is approachable and a 3% increase in those that don't know. Big PD is courteous and polite, 76% agreeing, 7% disagreeing, and 17% indicating they don't know. Big PD looks professional, strong agreement with that statement. And the question or the statement, Big PD is committed to the job, 72% agreeing, that's a 6% drop from 2020. And what we're seeing is an increase for many of these questions in the I don't know category. So just some doubt seeping in among respondents about, um, about these questions, indicating perhaps indecision or a lack of information on which to base the decision. Accountability, very important to the Victoria Police Department. It's one of our four uh, main values. So each year we ask if Vic PD is accountable in the eyes of our uh, of our uh, citizens. 46% uh, agreeing, but an equal, a very close number, similar number, indicating that they don't know. So again, perhaps an engagement opportunity here to uh, to ask citizens why they, they don't know if we're accountable or not, given that you know, the province of BC has a very strong accountability framework for police services. Perhaps that's a, a lack of awareness or knowledge um, or indecision for another reason, but that's a, a point for further exploration. We also asked if uh, respondents feel comfortable talking to Vic PD. Very similar results from 2020 to 2021. Similar outcome for the question of I feel safe or the statement of I feel safe and taken care of by Vic PD. And another crucially important question or, or statement, Vic PD uses authority and force appropriately. The number of the percentage of people agreeing with that statement has dropped 11% to 59% this year. And again, we're seeing this increase in the undecided, uh, a third of respondents in, indicating that they're undecided on this question. This deserves a closer look, so we, we look back to 2014 here, and we do see uh, a reversal, an inflection point here of those agreeing that Big PD uses authority and force appropriately, went from 41% to 70% in 2020, and back down to 59% this year. Uh, kind of a mirror image here for those that are undecided, but there was quite a high level uh, of people, quite a number of people feeling undecided back in 2014 down to 21% and then back up again to 32% this year. Uh, whereas the number of people disagreeing with the statement, fairly constant, well, certainly the same as last year at 9%. I, uh, for respondents feeling proud of Vic PD, um, again, we see a 7% a a decrease in those agreeing with the statement and almost a quarter of people being decided. Overall level of satisfaction with the service of Vic PD, 82%. And let's have a look here back to 2014. We can see that uh, numbers having been in the high 80s are at 82% in 2021. And looking ahead, we, we asked the question, police and citizens working together can help make this a better place to live and work. Uh, close to unanimous agreement with that statement. And finally, we asked 
uh, for respondents to check all of the uh, of, like, from an extensive list of, of uh, options, check all that apply. Uh, how can Big PD deal with problems? And the top four uh, categories here are be be more visible, uh, do more patrol, hire more officers, talk to people, and do more crime prevention work. So that was the quantitative side of the survey. We also had a qualitative element where we uh, offered respondents the opportunity to, to give to offer us comments on anything they wish to talk about. 63% of respondents took us up on that offer. And what follows is a, a, a breakdown of the general themes as well as some representative samples. So here are the main themes or broad categories of the comments. Um, uh, almost a quarter are, are, are compliments to our service delivery or our staff. Um, 18% of, of people or 18% of the, of the comments spoke to social or issues and how we can address them. Also finance and resource constraints. And we had some really positive um, feedback about the survey itself and how it could be improved for future years. And what follows are just four slides uh, that are a broad representative sample of the kind of comments we received. A lot of commentary about mental health and addiction support and the role of police or not in that field. Also some broad statements about the criminal justice system writ large. Uh, a lot of comments in support of an integrated regional police force in the Capital Regional District. Some people indicating that the police force should be abolished or defunded. Others disagreeing with that statement or that sentiment and still others kind of a middle ground of not believing that police forces should be defunded, but perhaps a change of focus is required. And quite universal um, uh, comments and compliments about being asked uh, or, or solicited for input to make their police service better. So thanks for uh, your interest in the 2021 Victoria Police Community Survey. And again, please uh, feel free to visit vicpd.ca and our open VicPD portal to have a look at all of the results, including the raw data and uh, the uh, results broken out by municipality. Thanks very much.